to why Green Bay? I'm assuming you had other options. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I had I had a few to choose from, but I mean, ultimately it came down to, you know, um, what I what I seen and what I felt like I believed in in this team. Um, you know, the, the the history of this organization and um, feeling like I'm, you know, wanted by an organization. Um, that's really what it came down to. So what did you see in Green Bay? Yeah, obviously, you know, young quarterback, uh, young skill guys, um, good offensive line. I mean, so for a running back, you know, <laughs> can't load the box. Uh, you know, you and, and when you do, you still got guys that can move people around. Um, I think that's the thing that kind of excited me the most. Yeah, to see this team and that young quarterback up close early last season. Yeah. What were your impressions then, and how much did having a quarterback to join the offense with kind of play a factor? Yeah, um, really, I was telling people, man, we were now we were scouting from when we was playing them last year. I was I seen them make some throws. I'm like, yeah, a lot of people can't do. I like running backwards on one foot and slinging it on, on a dime. Um, I, that kind of got me excited when I just started thinking about him, like walk from watching film on him. Um, and just to see the way he throws the ball effortlessly and uh, the like grit he plays with, you know, I, I'm very excited to play with him. You know, the, the Raiders have been one of those teams that just haven't been able to fulfill that position consistently. What does that do to you to have a guy like Jordan in this offense that is a franchise guy like that? Yeah, to have a guy so young and, um, you know, playing as well as he has, um, and, you know, a guy that's going to be around, you know, for, for a long time. Um, it's, it's fun, you know, to be able to have something stable um, and know what you're going to get out of a guy uh, week in and week out. Uh, so that's very exciting for me. Sorry. Now you good. <laughs> Your first four years, you did 3,000 yards. We all know what you did in 2022. What, what do you point the finger at or what, how do you explain what happened last year? Just the numbers. Yeah. Quite the same. Yeah. Um, you know, I, honestly, as a team, you know, with um, the contract stuff and all of that coming in, it was a little different. We had a lot of new uh, moving parts. We didn't really know who the quarterback was going to be. We didn't really know, like, what our identity was going to be. Um, so, you know, the first few games was kind of, like, kind of rough. Uh, and then, you know, we started to kind of figure it out a little bit, but we couldn't really stay consistent. Um, and then, you know, towards the end of the year, I ended up uh, having an injury. So. It was just one of them situations where it's like you wanted, you expected a lot out of that season, and it just didn't go that way. Everybody says, uh, sorry, Chris, go ahead. I'm sorry. Everybody says you're built for cold weather. You, you can power, you can you <laughs> speed and all that. Yeah. Do you like playing in cold weather? Have you a lot of it? Have oh, as a, as as a running back, yeah. You love playing in the cold because people don't want to hit you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then after a while, you know, you start to wear on them, and like. It just makes it a lot easier. You know, I think if I was defensive, I, I might be like, uh, but as a running back, I love it. When you and uh, Xavier were in school together, did you ever think maybe you would play together in the NFL? <laughs> nah, man, never. Like, never. You know, obviously, you know, you think that it's a possibility. Um, but, you know, just with him, like me knowing him for so long, and um, even like over the years, we still talk all the time, you know. Um, so for me to be able to come here with him, we were talking about it last night, we were sitting down eating. I was like, man, it's, it's special. Um, and I don't think it's really hit me yet, <laughs> you know, about being here and everything like that. But I think it's going to be fun. Obviously, he's a great player. Well, what kind of guy is he? You obviously know him better than anybody else around here. Yeah, I mean, he's a real good dude, man. I mean, his mom, his dad, they're, they're just good people. He come from a good a good home. Um, he's one of them guys that he, he's going to take care of, you know, his teammates and stuff outside of the building, you know, the things that people don't really notice or, or look at. Um, and for him to be as young as he is, he's he's definitely a leader. Josh, you know, what's your uh, relationship with Rich Passaccia? Yeah, <laughs> man, Coach Coach Passaccia, uh, he was I'm not gonna lie, he was one of the main reasons that I was kind of like wanting to come here too. Um, just knowing that he was already here um, and just dealing with him in the past, man, we've always had a tight relationship. Um, and um, you know that year where he was head coach, we had a lot of like real conversations. So we sat down, we, we you know. We talked about life and everything. So to be able to re, you know, be around him and that energy that he has every day, I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, any favorite stories with Xavier? Uh, Xavier going back to the band days, I imagine you guys squared off in practice a few times. Yeah, man. I remember his first, what is that, like spring, during spring ball, his first spring ball. Um, you know, he was kind of quiet at first. He was one of them guys that, like, you would just see him work. And then I actually seen him step into that, like, that leader role and everything, you know, being a guy and like starting to like demand more out of the players and things like that. Uh, but my first thought of him, honestly, was like, I like the way that this dude came in. 
uh, I like I like people that you know they come in and put their head down and work and, and prove it, you know. And he was one of them guys, so he he definitely had my respect. Josh, where else? Uh, I don't know if the sucker was fast for you to see, but what, what, what were your other options? Man, it was it was probably like ten or twelve teams. It was like ten or twelve teams. Um, and it was kind of weird because they all was hitting me at once, and it was like a small window, you know. So I'm like, man, like you trying to weigh your options and you know figure it all out. Um, but ultimately, like I said, man, I just liked what they had going on over here. Um, you know, going to the playoffs and and compete and actually competing for the Super Bowl and things like that. Um, it's something that I always you know wanted to be a part of. You know, I told them that playoff. Playoff ball is a little different, and I really haven't experienced it. Um, so that was definitely something that I want to, you know, leave my mark on. You mentioned uh, young skill position players. You're the oldest one. Yeah. Um, is that a little bit of a different view? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird because I'm like, man, I ain't that old. <laughs> yeah, but I think that that's dope, though, because obviously, you know, last year a lot of them young guys in the beginning of the season was still trying to figure it out. I mean, at least that's what it looked like from the outside looking in. Um, you know, when it start to click, um, because for most young guys, it's just about experience. Uh, so the, them having that whole year's worth of experience and then coming in this year, I'm excited to see a lot of them take that step. Uh, so I just hope to be, you know, a part of that and hopefully help in any, in any way I can. Joining a young offense, you're, out, you're essentially replacing a guy in 33 who's pretty loved around here. Yeah. What kind of shoes do you feel like you're stepping into, not just on the field, but from a leadership role too with so much young guys around? Yeah, I actually know Aaron, you know, so I already know what kind of guy he is. You know what I'm saying? A great dude, man. Um, and obviously he's, he's a legend around here just from what he's done in his time that he's been here, um, you know. I don't really consider myself coming in and, you know, like replacing what he's done. Um, I just try to hold that standard. How do you know him? Maybe that's uh, yeah, I mean, we used to be out of Miami train, uh, Bomberitos and uh, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, we, I've been around him like in the off season a few, a few years. So, yeah. Do you know AJ Dillon at all? Not as much. Yeah, not as much. He, he, we uh, contacted last night for the first time, but yeah, that's, I look forward to meeting him too. <laughs> Josh, you know, you've won the captain's patch um, you know, in, in your career. So how do you kind of balance, you know, wanting to, you know, maybe still be a leader in that way, but yet you're coming into like a brand new, whole new situation? Yeah. Uh, to me, it's easy, man. You just come in and earn the guy's respect. Um, and you do that by, you know, going to work, putting in the work in. And, um, you know, once you earn the guy's respect and they see the way you, you know, go about business on, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, that's kind of how you step into that role. It's not really something that you kind of ask for. It's just kind of something that's shown. Josh, based on what you've seen from the offense, you mentioned you watched it, you know what Jordan is all about. Where do you think you fit? Because you're a three down back, you've caught a ton of passes in your career. How do you fit into this offense? Yeah, man, I mean, I was talking to Coach about that <laughs> actually yesterday, and I was telling him, man, I feel like I want to catch it a little more. Um, I feel like, um, you know, I didn't, get to show that as much as I, I would like. Um, so that's definitely something, the conversation that we had. Um, I know like, you know, the schemes out here, they kind of do a lot of, you know, outside zone running. Um, so I think it just fits me, man. I, I just, I can't wait to get in and, you know, kind of fill it out and see where I, where I fit in, but also, you know, try to leave a, my, my mark on it too. In your mind, what do you do to make sure you're here long-term? Like Matt said, you're the oldest guy on the <laughs> but you can be here long-term, contracts tend to change, even though they're written for a certain duration. What do you need to do to be your long-term? Like I said, man, I think the best thing to do is come in and just put your head down and work. Um, you know, uh, be, be a leader in the locker room um, with the guys, um, and you know, be a leader in the community. I think that all of them things are important. Um, so I think that that's the best best start to, on the way to that track. No, he wasn't drafted, but you and Keyshawn were same class. I yeah. Think. It's kind of cool to see he's made two all-pro teams since mm -hmm. you've come here. Have you talked to him since you've come Yeah, here? man, we've, we, we've talked a lot. <laughs> we talked a lot. Uh, like I said, he's one of the guys we always keep always keep up with him, too. Um, coming in, you know, Keyshawn is very uh, charismatic, charismatic guy. Um, but, man, I talk, we were talking last night and just about, you know, this place. And um, he told me how much it's, it reminded him college ball and how much it's just – a real genuine love for football and what you do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and, you know, he kind of sold me. Like, I'm like, yeah, he kind of got me, like, ready to play. Uh, but, man, uh, good dude, man. Um, he's, he's back today, so I don't know if y'all going to talk to him or not. But, yeah, this is a real good dude. What have what your uh, impressions been of uh, Matt LaFleur and um, the 
early conversations as well with him? Yeah, I honestly didn't think he was going to be as cool as he is. I, I don't know. You know, head coaches are sometimes a little, you know, but, man, he's he's, he's been cool so far. Um, and, you know, we've already been talking ball and um, schemes and, and, you know, systems and all that. I got the iPad yesterday. I kind of looked over it a little bit. Um, I think he's going to be fun to play for, man. I think that whenever you have a young coach like that and, um, you know, the guys that's, like, energetic and things like that, they kind of make it more fun to play for. Um, and so I'm looking forward to that. Josh, has there been any thought into your number? Are you going to keep uh, eight? Are you going to negotiate with Sean Clifford to maybe try? Uh, it's still in the works. Everybody keep asking me. <laughs> so I'm, I, I kind of really don't know. I got to really see what's available. Um, you know, if I can get eight, you know, I'll make it worth it for him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's possible, you know, but if not, you man, I'm, I'm good either way. Yeah. You broke a lot of tackles, especially in 2022. Um, not a regular guy has that ability. What is the secret to that? I think contact balance, man. Um, you know, understanding angles, understanding how the body moves, uh, you know, stuff like that. Like, if I'm coming at an angle, I look at the way guys' shoulders and, you know, their momentum is taking them, and I kind of try to use it against them. Um, I look at football kind of like chess, um, especially because the defenders got to react to me because I'm an offensive player. And uh, so, you know, I just kind of try to play my games, whether I might run you over one play or make you miss the next. Um, that's kind of like what I what I get into. You've carried the football a lot in five years in a league that doesn't have a lot of workhorse guys. You're one of the few. How do you keep your body fresh and, and kind of and manage that workhorse? Man, you got to take care of yourself. Um, that was the biggest adjustment, I would say, coming in from college to the, to the pros is learning how to take care of yourself. Um, and, um, you know, I kind of had the opportunity to really, like, you know, speak with, like, Tom Brady and, and all of these kind of guys that kind of guided me along with that, uh, whether it's, you know, nutrition or, you know, um, getting your body worked on uh, on certain things, you know, as, as quickly as possible to be able to stay as fresh as possible. And, you know, obviously playing a running back, that's that's a hard thing to do, you know. Um, and it's a, it's a constant job and it's something that you got to be very, like, meticulous with. Um, so for me, it's, it's been it's been interesting, but man, um, hopefully I can figure it out out here, get everything you know acclimated with with the people and the, uh, that's out here that do you know the body work and things like that. What's the, biggest thing, what's, what's the biggest thing you learned from Tom in those conversations? Man, uh, the, so the first my first thing that I learned from him, man, was the guy's really cool. <laughs> you know, I didn't think he was gonna be like you know <laughs> that cool. Um, and he surprised me because my very first conversation with him, he knew my name and everything. And I'm like, dang, Tom Brady know who I am. Uh, but he, he just tells you, man, like he's, he's a real dude. He tells you like what you need to expect him and, you know, the type of mentality that you need to have. And um, even with off the field stuff, man, he's, he's an open book. Um, and it's, and it's, it's rare to find a lot of guys that's like that, especially, you know, that's accomplished as much as he has in this league. Uh, so I'm definitely grateful for that. What do you think about the way the NFL values running backs? Do you think it's better now than it was, or how do you assess it? I think that everything comes full circle. It's in, you know in, in the cycle. Uh, so you know right now it might be a, um, a little rough, um, but I think that you know everything changes. Um, you kind of see what's going on with running backs, going on with safeties uh, right now. Um, and like I said, I just think that it's something that it just got to take its course. Um, obviously, you know, you can help yourself out by playing good and, you know, make yourself more available. And the more you can do, you know, the better the better position to be. Um, but yeah, I just think it's one of them things.